Hello and welcome to Geography News. Um, today we're looking at the case study of the Boxing Day Tsunami. Happened in 2004, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, we're looking at the long-term impacts and the short-term impacts. To start off with short-term impacts, we have social um, impacts. 48% of all damage was done to houses. Um, of this in Banda Aceh, and Banda Aceh in the Philippines was the worst hit by the tsunami. Um, local governments in the countries that are affected by the tsunami, so that's pretty much all around the Indian Ocean, where uh, they donated at least $2.5 billion to, uh, to the cause. <laughs> Mike. Okay, moving on to economic now. Um, 600,000 people... It, <laughs> 600,000 people in Banda Aceh lost their jobs. Um, this, they lost their livelihoods, and mainly fishers, uh, uh, fishermen, and uh, people who worked on the coastline. $9.9 billion worth of losses was estimated to be the value of the losses throughout the, throughout the world by the cause of the tsunami. Um, Two million jobs in total were lost. Some businesses were destroyed. Crops and farmland were destroyed, which then gave, cost farmers money. And roads and bridges and railway lines were destroyed also, cutting off communication bet between communities and even countries. Um, a lot of the areas affected were LEDCs, so the economic losses are higher and longer to recover from. Moving on to a few environmental impacts... Crops were destroyed, loss of food to the area, loss of water that was damaged by the salt water. Land was made infertile because of the salt water. Debris was washed into inland, three, at least three kilometres inland in some cases. Um, also, oil plants in Indonesia were damaged and oil leaked into the ocean, causing even further damage to marine life and uh, animals in the water. Um, some demographics were basically that the final death toll overall was estimated to be 283,000 deaths. These were both direct causes and indirect causes of the tsunami, Boxing Day, Boxing Day tsunami. Um, last one, we have 275,000 people killed in 14 countries across two continents. That is, that is very widespread and a lot of deaths. Moving on to Charlie now for short-term impacts. Long-term impacts. Long-term impacts. Some social impacts now. The, um, the rebuild was a long process because of the extent of the damage caused to people's homes. Millions of people were left homeless across all of the countries. <laughs> people were involved. <laughs> Food and water. Um, some political impacts. Nations across the globe had provided a total of 14 billion for the damaged regions. The money given to affected areas was used to rebuild and provide humanitarian aid. Fishing communities were devastated, uh, causing local economies to fall as an eco economic impact. Another one, uh, fishermen were unable to earn money because their boats were destroyed by the tsunami and cannot afford another boat. Uh, going on to environmental. Um, the Indian Ocean earthquake has caused an enormous environmental impact that affected the region for many years to come. Severe damage to ecosystems such as mangroves, coral reefs, forests, coastal wetlands, vegetation, sand dunes, rock formations, animals and plant biodiversity and groundwater. Another point, <laughs> the destruction of sewage collectors and treatment plants threaten the environment even further. Some more some demographic impacts. The population in the affected areas dropped because people were moving away from those affected areas due to the fear that it would happen again. Um, tourists won't go into the places that had been affected because of the risk that the tsunami would happen again. Here, are, here is the map of the areas affected. 